All right, how's everybody doing this morning? It's uh, 9.30 here on Mother's Day and uh, getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, been a busy weekend, everybody. Uh, before we get into that, let's let's show a little bit of what we got on us today. Of course, we got the Lone Deer Leather Company out of Texas. This wallet my son got me a few years ago, and uh, hopefully I got this till the day I die. So I won't be buying any more wallets for a while, but always got the pre-workout before the gym because it takes a lot of energy to move that weight. So I'm going to do a little incline and a close grip and maybe some arms. I don't know. Uh, the guys, uh, got the fishing watch on today. No fish on right now. Probably about three or four, it says, but I don't know. I'll probably go tonight, but like I said, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, hit the flea market there on, uh, what was that? Friday night, met knife delights up there and had a blast. James Stork, his brother, Jesse McJames. It was a good time. Bought a, I only, only bought uh, two blades. One I gifted to Tom though, uh, bought a Appaloosa bone case Congress to match the Whitler that I have. But, uh, and then I bought a hatchet Sears USA, USA all the way. Hey guys, got the Ray-Bans on. Keep them eyes protected and my Glock, Glock hat. That's what I shoot. So that's what I got. That's what I like to shoot. Um, let's look at what we're, we're actually carrying today. Cause, uh, I did a short on this piece yesterday because I didn't have a lot of time yesterday. Um, we're helping our youngest son. He's moving out. Um, it stinks. He's 21, though, and got his career going. So uh, he's moving out Tuesday, so we're getting all that stuff. We'll get, I mowed the grass yesterday morning, did a lot of work there at the house, and then uh, we got him some furniture and moved some furniture around and uh, helping him pack up, but... So I thought I'd shoot a short on this, but uh, guys, I bought a two dot buck 110 off of Lee last month. And this thing's in superb condition. So this is like a, what, a 72 through 81 or something. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. You can see it's a, got a dot on each side of the buck, on each side of the, the model number, I should say. I don't know how well it's going to come in because it's probably on my face. But, but look at the all the meats on the bone. It just has a few scratches. And I used this sucker when we were hauling furniture yesterday at the trailer, I was tying some trucker hitches and trying to show him how to tie some trucker hitches and knots. And he just, <laughs> he just knotted the rope all up and I just, I cut it with this, but I bought this and I love the, the blockiness of it. Just love it. Love that thing. But I bought it and uh, my buddy, you guys know, Kevin Boston blade reviews. We had a show for over a year together and we talk every day, all day, but he's got a few of these uh, period correct sheets for the 110. And he said, you got the knife. He said, I'm going to send you the proper sheath for it. And by God, he did. And look at the, it's just different than the newer ones. And it's supple, but it's really, it's thick. But man, this thing is superb. Snap works great on it still. And I actually carried this to the flea market and had to show Tom because he's, you know, he's a big buck guy. But I was like, look what I got on me and look at the sheath I got to carry it in. And guys, that right there is a, that's a good knife. I mean, for as being as old as it is, I mean, this thing's probably what, it's probably close to 50 years old because I'm close to 50. So, and to still just be able to work and, and the lockup is, there's absolutely zero blade play and. Let's look here. Is she right down Broadway? She's right down Broadway, I believe. Look at that. Look at that. Man, I love this thing. And that was uh, very thoughtful of Kevin. And uh, I got something on it on the way to to pay him back for it, though. What else do I got? We well, got the watch. We got the, the Ray-Bans. We got the Glock hat. We got the, the Buck 110 two dot and a period correct sheet but uh picked up this sucker today to carry let's look at the the slip first this is an older one from sd leatherworks that she gifted me but i put the uh, knife brotherhood bead on there so with the piece of leather 
and she she drew that on there burn it in there however you do it but we got the old case uh one blade trapper micarta look at the teeners on this thing guys <laughs> look at that man she went to teener town and back <laughs> yeah she's right down broadway too the only thing with this knife when i got it um it had uh quite a bit of blade play so uh i just took a piece of leather put it in my vise in like a u shape and put this down in there and Cranked my vise down to uh, squeeze the pivot together until I thought it was decent, and uh, we got her where we want her. Um, still uh, plenty of walk and talk, and uh, you know the tip too on these. Uh, Case is getting a lot better about their tips. I'm seeing where um, the tips on the newer trappers are uh, real so far. I think uh, Baxter's blades. Um, I think he talked about that in a video the other day and actually had some perfect examples because his case collection, Baxter, you're killing it, brother. Um, you, you really are. I'm going to roll this window up a little bit because I, I don't know if the wind's coming through here or not, but, uh, the geese are out. They're always out around here though, but the Baxter's collection, man, I told him that too. I was like, your case collection has got to be like through the roof right now. And, uh, cause, uh, he uh he builds and builds and builds and builds his his collection his buck and case collection he really focuses on those two things and uh man i'm jealous baxter i'm not gonna lie i'm jealous of baxter i really wish baxter would hop on one of them honda motorcycles and ride it out here and hit the flea market up with us that would be that'd be a trip right there andrew we'd love to have you over here get you over here and maybe terry and a couple other folks and uh man that'd be a trip wouldn't it <laughs> we'd have a blast we'd probably they'd probably kick us out of that flea market for us over with but man look at that this is a good knife um didn't know how i was gonna feel about it when i bought it i just knew with these dlt trappers they got it also in the warncliffe blade but i knew i would like this blade better um so i just didn't like the style of the warncliffe on uh on that one for some reason I like the style of the Warren Cliff on their copper locks, but not the, uh, but not that single blade trapper for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just, you know, maybe it's something in my head. Hell, I don't know. But yeah, with that. With this bucket and Kevin, man, again, guys, go, go sub to Kevin at Boston Blade Reviews and let him know Big J sent you over because Man, the thoughtfulness of someone to just see a knife that you have and uh, just uh, go pull this out of their personal collection and send it to you is just, uh, I don't know, man. I made some good friends here on YouTube. Good, good friends. And uh, like I said, me and him, we talk every single day. Me and him talk every single day and me and Doom Crew talk every single day. And matter of fact, old Doom Crew sent me a couple of blades to check out. And uh, that's going to go on a two for Tuesday. That'll be up this Tuesday. And uh, while I was shooting a video, I dropped the fixed blade knife <laughs> and cut my finger on the video, but I wasn't going to stop it. I was like, let's just roll with it. And we did, by God. And uh, that video will be out Tuesday on a couple of uh, creations that he made. Um, he had one of those uh, Remington Jumbo Trappers that was just a, uh, you know, had no edge on it. It was just a blank canvas knife. Uh, some new old stock they probably had laying around that wasn't finished. Maybe when Camillus closed down. Camillus or however you want to pronounce it. They probably had them laying around and then uh, they probably dumped them off to a distributor. And I don't know if the, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't even know if it had scales on it or not. I just know there wasn't an edge and he actually put a water buffalo horn um, covers on that knife. And uh, you'll be able to see that. And he also built a fixed blade knife. And the fixed blade's the one I dropped when I was doing the video and cut myself. But so subscribe to all these guys. Boston Blade Reviews, Doom Crew Outdoors, Andrew at Baxter's Blades, Terry at Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. There's just so many Georgia Adventure, J.O. Adventures Outdoors. Knife Delights, Jesse McJames, 
there's so many people and I'm sorry if I left anybody out, but there's so many that you can't keep up, but man, look at that thing. And uh, I do, uh, I do got to give a special thanks to Tom at Knife Delights too, because he gave me a very special gift that you'll be seeing not this Wednesday, but probably next Wednesday, because I got to do some research on it. So you probably know what kind of videos I put out on Wednesdays, but this is an old one and, um, it don't even have a model number on it. This knife don't. So I've got to do some research and find out exactly what model it is. And I may, uh, if Warthog is feeling up to it, maybe have him help me a little bit on the research of it. Um, cause all my stuff's got to come offline and I know he's got that book, but I know also that he hasn't been feeling the greatest lately. So one thing I don't want to do is bother people when they don't feel well. All right, guys. Hey, I'm going to get off here. Um, I just thought I'd come to the gym a little early. I was going to go fishing this morning, but it is Mother's Day. And when we were helping my son pack all of his stuff, we absolutely demolished the house. You know, walking in and out, the floors were filthy and everything. And last night, we were just so tired, we just went to bed. So, um, I helped my wife. I actually, uh, you know, I sweep. I Usually, I do a lot of housework on the weekends. I mow the grass. I usually don't even sit down to rest till like 6 you know, because I work, I do all the yard work. I, I I cannot stand a dirty kitchen, so I clean the kitchen. I, I sweep floors. I, I do all that stuff because she works hard. I don't work as hard as she does just because of the kind of role I have where I work. But she uh, she works hard, so she needs her rest. And then she also is doing this stuff when she gets home. So, you know, I got I to gotta help her out. And uh, it's a man's duty. You know, it is. So be sure you tell your mother, happy Mother's Day today. Take your wife out to eat. Make sure your kids tell your wife happy Mother's Day because, you know, kids forget. So I've already reminded uh, mine. So, all right, guys. Hey, I'm going to hop off here. I think someone's over there opening up the gym. I'm over here at the pool. So I need some shade. All right, guys. Hey, uh, while you're out there, keep images fresh.